Hey, this is the franchise, Shane Douglas. For the walking weapon, Josh Alexander, and you're watching. Oh, blue, 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 blue. And you're watching. Yamane, aka WWE. And here's this podcast with Ollie Harper, my man. <laughs> And you're watching the Ali Harper Show on YouTube. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Ollie, and we are back for another episode in the Bash in Berlin trip videos. Now, today, guys, well, today is Sunday, the 1st of September, 2024. And, uh, of course, Bash in Berlin was yesterday. Great, great show. Uh, I really enjoyed it, you know. I think that this, this show had great pacing, told some great stories, and was just an all-round good WWE pay-per-view. Um, you know, I really did enjoy the matches and it's funny because <clears throat> one thing that uh, I really felt with like a lot of these, like from going to a lot of larger events, which have had more matches on, you know, one of the things I was going in thinking was, damn, it's only five matches, man. We're going to be, we want more. But I'll tell you something, the way they paced this show out, I really did feel like five was enough because it really was like less is more and each match really was given its time so you left feeling pretty satisfied with what they gave you in those lot those big five matches it was really really good for a uh, definitely a, you know an event outside of wrestlemania um i enjoyed the gun to randy orton I, I enjoyed every match you know the crowd was absolutely on fire um you know it was an absolutely just stacked show and uh i can tell you now I will absolutely 100%, and I'm not just saying this because I'm a high, but as long as it's not too close to Mania, I will definitely be doing another European PLE next year. Uh, this has been one of the easiest like trips to do, cheaper, and just all round, just really good to get to. I think that uh, that is something to really bear in mind. I do think that the fact we're getting these European PLEs is just a great, great asset and is something to definitely embrace and get into if you can, guys. But uh, today, we're gonna do a bit more exploring of Berlin. I uh, don't know where I'm gonna head up, but we will be vlogging as we go along, guys. And uh, yeah, so that's all I'm gonna say. I'm wearing a bit of John Cena retirement today. I did pick this up the other day at the Superstore. But as I say, guys, let's get on with today's adventure. Let's see where we go to. All right, guys, we're gonna uh, we're gonna head out. Let's go. Let's go and have one more explore. One last full day here in Berlin. Hey guys, I'm back. Well, funnily, funnily enough, I actually thought I'd uh, see if the East Side Mall was open. Just having a look in and see if that Bash in Berlin store was closing anything down. But uh, the whole mall is shut today. So God bless Germany for letting the workers in these uh, big malls get a Sunday off because they just closed it. It's not open. Very was like nope. Oh. Whole store closed. I was like, right. Well, there you go. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, we are uh, just on the way to what I was told is maybe a flea market down here. But we're going to have a look. Well, we found the flea market thanks to my uh, Apple Maps. We are here. We're in the student quarter of uh, Berlin. This is actually Box Hagner Platz. And from what I can see, it is absolutely chop bang full of I don't know clothing merchandise whatever you want to grab so let's go and have a look around and I'll see if we can pick up any bargains Some bags. well we're walking around a little bit there's a lot of like clothes and stuff women's clothes there's a couple of independent sellers you know um, but it goes on so there's a lot here and if I do point out anything pretty cool I want of course you guys know what we got you know there's a lot of different stalls here, so just different different kinds of stuff, you know, which is always good. Just found a Calvin Klein hoodie. It's, it's real as well, you can tell. Uh, 15, oh God, he wanted 20 for it and knocked him down to 15, so that was pretty cool. Um, but no, it's really nice here. Really, very, uh, very cosmopolitan area. Very youthful, very vibrant, and I think it's just nice to have done something like this. Very, you know, different part of Berlin. Really, very cultured. So, yeah, really cool. <laughs> Very cool. 
cool. <laughs> This man knows I'm recording. You're rocking it, dude. <laughs> Phenomenal. Well, guys, I'm about there. It's uh, nearly half 12 and uh, I've had a good look round. I've, uh, yeah, all in all, I thought it's been a really good market, to be honest. Lots of uh, sellers here and, you know, different people wanting to make their money, you know, and that's nice to see and I, it really I think it's a different side to the Berlin sort of culture I think you know because the people here they, they're very much they're out here they just want to have a you know, it's just very very vibrant isn't it the, the, the people here are very vibrant and no I like it it's got a nice culture to it it's very very nice very sophisticated sort of feeling around this market I must say anyway we're going to uh, head out of here and uh, yeah we'll see where we can go to ah, here comes the train and this is the one I need the fright the free Friedrich Stra train, this is the one. Let's jump on this. Station to the city. Well, this adventure keeps on going, guys. I'm on the train. I'm, on, I'm off to uh, Friedrich Stra, which is where I was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So that's where we're going now. It's European travel. In Friedrich Friedrichstrass, I believe that right. Um, I'm gonna try and find this boat ride. It looks pretty fun. It'd be nice taking a bit of the Berlin area on the boat. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna go do. You can see the bridge, and you can see that that's where down there the boats are. So let's go there. Go find it. Guys, bought a boat ticket. That's what we're doing right now. Guys, we're gonna get on this boat. It looks great. It's an hour, so this should be fun. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, on the boat, I have took a uh, ticket for a boat ride tour around Berlin, Germany, and I'm pretty ecstatic about this. This is an hour tour. It came to 23 euros, and I tell you now, I think I've paid. It's been worth every, uh, I would say every penny, but yeah, every penny. So uh, yeah, we're going to be heading off in a little bit, and it's just really cool to take in a bit of the culture while we're here on this last full day before I fly home tomorrow. It will be. Uh, I actually fly home like evening, so I'll play a little bit of the day tomorrow, but tomorrow I'd mainly travel, you know. But uh, yeah, all right, guys. Wenn uns an Bord an nichts fehlt, kümmert sich unser Servicepersonal um ihr leibliches Wohl. Bitte beachten Sie, dass die automatischen Stadtbilderkehrungen erst mit der Abfahrt des Schiffes beginnen. Genießen Sie mit uns Berlin. Wir wünschen Ihnen eine angenehme Fahrt. Ihr Schiff wird Ihnen gleich wieder in Ihrem Hafen begrüßen. Bitte beachten Sie, dass die automatischen Stadtbilderkehrungen erst mit der Abfahrt des Schiffes beginnen. Genießen Sie mit uns Berlin. Wir wünschen Ihnen eine angenehme Fahrt. besucht werden kann. So relaxing, guys. It really is. It's, it's a beautiful day. Vorne is the Kuppel des Reichstagsgebäudes zu erkennen. And direct links sehen Sie das Presse- und Informationsamt der Bundesregierung. 
Eine Anlaufstelle für alle, die ausführliche Informationen über die Bundesregierung und ihre Tätigkeit suchen. Der Plenarsaal. An der Uferseite sehen Sie das Marie-Elisabeth-Lüders-Haus. Die Namensgeberin lebte von 1878 bis 1966 und war eine engagierte Frauenrechtlerin und Sozialpolitikerin in Deutschland. Auf ihr Energiebedarf wird dabei ausschließlich über klimafreundliche Ressourcen abgedeckt. So erfolgt die Energiegewinnung über ein mit Biodiesel betriebenes Heizkraftwerk sowie mit Hilfe einer Photovoltaikanlage auf die Den Berliner Fernsehturm aus dem Jahre 1969. Er markiert mit 368 Metern den Gründungsstandort von Berlin. Die silberne Kugel ist dem Sputnik nachempfunden. Dort oben befindet sich das Restaurant Sphere, abgetragen, um der jungen DDR ein neues Gesicht zu geben. Die feudale Zeit des Imperialismus und Kapitalismus sollte für ein neues Deutschland... Hey guys, so, fish on the boat, now got a authentic... Guys, we're back. It's in this nice public park. More amazing buildings, classic buildings. Back, nearly back in Alexander Platz, actually. But, uh, yeah, it's nice. All right, guys. So as I say, we're back. I've got a coffee, big coffee here. Beautiful filled with coffee. It's a place called Espresso House, not too far from uh, Alexander Platz. I've also got this uh, carrot cake muffin. Look at the size of that thing, ginormous. Absolutely brilliant guys here today. Well guys, pretty much wrapped up most of the day now. We're back on the way to Ospenhof. Got my uh, signature on my short trip to travel. But yes, I've got this really cool. I'm gonna show you guys when we get back to the apartment. Really great to show you some awesome stuff. All in all though, it's been a great, great Sunday. Hey, what's going on everybody? We are back in the apartment. Finally got off the train and we're back in this nice last full night here in Berlin, Germany. And I've had an absolutely amazing time today. I've had an absolutely amazing time this, this week. It's been really, really fun. Never been here, never been to Germany ever, but to be my first trip in Germany. I know it was for a wrestling trip, but just to take in the culture and really take in this what Germany is, I think, was a really great thing as well. A real bonus, actually. The culture here is lovely, you know, very clean country as well. I mean, the stations are so damn clean. I mean, you go somewhere like some of the stations in the UK, they're just not great. But over here, it's, I mean, it's just so looked after and it's just great to see. But uh, as I say, today, wrap up. A few things I was able to pick up. So, went to the flea market this morning. Had an absolute blast. Uh, it was a really big flea market and I'm glad I was able to check it out because it was one of the things I planned before coming on this trip. There was a Sunday flea market that I really wanted to try and it wasn't too far from the East Side Mall. Uh, I kind of found it a little bit by accident being in the right area because I originally started the day going trying to find if the mall was open and of course they closed today. So God bless the uh, letting them all get a day off who work in there. So that's great. But um, yeah, the flea market was really cool. First thing I was able to pick up. Now this... 
I am a bit of a, I do like my designer stuff, but I was able to pick this up. This is actually original. It's not, it's not fake before anyone says it, but it is a uh, Calvin Klein. This is a Calvin Klein uh, hoodie. It's my size and it is, uh, this came, this cost me uh, 15 euros, which I thought was really good. I mean, you can sometimes, these Calvin Klein, like jumpers, hoodies, sweat tops, like 80, 90 pounds in England. So, but he, uh, he did, uh, he was like, make me an offer. And I said 15 euros and he was like, that's fine. Cause he, he wanted 20 originally, but 15 euros, we were good to go. Um, I also went to this really cool music stall. And he, I, got, I met this other guy, he did me these two for 10 euros, which was really good. I got Airborne, I know one of the old Airborne albums. I've really started listening listen to Airborne, Airborne and they're, I think they're fantastic. Very much that glam rock, very, very cool. And I think I said before, I really have got back into physical media and CD collecting. I just think it's fun, but yeah. And I also got Drowning Pool. This was also, it's like five euros, five euros, so 10. And of course, this has got a lot of the old classic Drowning Pool themes on it. Uh, let the bodies hit the floor. It's got, um, there's a one from uh, at WrestleMania 18 off the top of my head, but uh, really, really cool. So, Tear Away, I've just seen it on there. Yeah, Tear Away, I think that was the WrestleMania 18 theme, but yeah. So them two, I got them two, did them for 10 euros. Uh, also got a couple of little souvenirs for my family, so that was cool. Um, and then when I also did the boat ride, that was brilliant, absolutely great. And like I said, just to go, go over a little thing, because it's the last full day, you know, I wanted to do, those sort of things today. I feel like when you've got a, a plane ride the next day, you sort of, you eventually you got to think, well, I've got to break off, do that, get the, you know, get the plane back. So I wanted to just really enjoy today and really take it all in today, being the last, really, you know, the last full day. And then the last thing I picked up today, I actually got this from uh, Alexander Platt Station in one of the magazine shops. And it is a wrestling magazine, but it's all in German. And Ludwig Kaiser's on the front cover, but it basically commemorates Bash in Berlin. And I thought, what a what a cool souvenir to pick up on the Bash in Berlin trip. A German wrestling magazine. You've got Ludwig Kaiser on the front. He's literally like him and Gunter are like Hulk Hogan and Randy Savage to Germany. Uh, that is the truth. They are superheroes to this country. The reactions they got last night in at the Uber Arena was just tremendous they they are larger than life in this country these two so yeah fantastic but pick this up i thought it was just a cool souvenir to really commemorate the trip and uh and yeah so yeah it's called a power power wrestling so i got a power wrestling magazine all in german so we'll, well, anyway, we could probably translate with google if i really want to read those articles but uh but yeah but anyway guys those are a few things i might wrap up in a little bit with a couple of something else i might get up to but for now i might have to start packing up soon because uh time's ticking but guys hope you've been enjoying the vlogs and i'll catch up in a little bit guys hey guys this is my final night in the hope well in the apartment hotel just made myself some food we've had a great great trip and, and uh, if i do anything tomorrow vlogging i'll try to we'll see where we go but i just want to say a huge thanks to everybody that has been tuning in this week with the vlogs the episodes and uh yeah i'll be back soon for more videos for all things professional wrestling don't forget to sub comment subscribe sub subscribe and like there we go and i'll catch you guys very soon hey guys what's going on i thought i'd just do this little quick piece because I didn't expect this to happen no one would but uh, I went back to the superstore this morning and uh, I was actually having a really good chat with a couple of the guys at work over there and there was a load of stuff that was going in the bin and it had no they didn't want it they couldn't sell it so being in the right place at the right time they gave it me I got these Jay Uso main event Jay Uso uh, shades which I've got a slight crack in them well not even a crack it's actually a little scratch it's like a uh, very very small scratch you can hardly see and I got two toy belts and an opening hour plaque so yeah great great trip guys and what a way to finish it I'm just here in Alexander Platz I'm hanging around a little bit today as uh, my flight's quite late tonight but uh, hey results this morning guys that's what I'll say but as I say a big thanks to everybody that has been tuning in thanks so much for all the, all the support and as I say you know where to find me guys for all things professional wrestling don't forget to comment subscribe and like and I'll catch you guys down the road you see that behind me that is great great public transportation here in Berlin